it's Michelle Sturgeon with Come Stamp With Me, coming to you from Ontario, Canada. In today's sneak peek video, I'm going to show you a stamp set from the holiday catalog called Christmas is Gleaming. And this stamp comes with two matching punches. And this, there's this one right here, the small punch. And the large punch. And the card we're going to be making today is this one. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna lower you just a little. Okay, so our card base is our regular size, where whatever country you live in, that would be whatever size you use. Um, here in North America, it's five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I've done my card panel, this white piece, five by three and three quarters. And this card does not have a mat, Although if I could have, I probably would have put a copper mat around the side. I just didn't have enough copper to do that. Um, now I need a piece of scrap paper so that I can... Actually, what I'm going to do first before I do that, because I learned um, that the Delicata ink needs time to dry, because if you don't, it will smudge. So I'm going to do that first. I want to just kind of figure out where I'm putting this right here. Then I will take this stamp from and I'll put it right here. There we go. And then that will have time to dry. Now this Delicata ink, this is Celestial Copper and it stamps beautifully. I like it so much in fact that I think I am going to buy the other two colors. It also comes in silver and gold. Um, actually, I will glue this down while I'm here with my liquid glue and give that a chance to dry as well. I'll just put that a little bit at the top and then, is that straight? I think it is. And then we'll go ahead and Okay, now set that aside to dry and we'll go ahead and stamp out our ornaments. So the first ornament is going to be stamped in the Delicata ink. Very pretty. And our second ornament will be in the shaded spruce. I find these two colors look just so elegant together. Shaded spruce and copper. It's really, really regal looking. You know what I mean? Very royal. And punch. I love stamps with matching punches. I think that's one of my favorite things. If I could ask Julie Andrews to sing about it, I would. Okay, so the other thing that I've got here, this is called Christmas, what? Christmas Layers Dies, and this is also in the new catalog. And I love the way this looks. I especially love this sprig one, and I've already cut that out. But this one here, this one, is also very delicate. I've cut that one out so that you can see it. It's, I uh, can't really see it when it's on my hand like that. So it is uh, just really delicate. I have no idea how I'm gonna glue that onto anything. And then the other one is this these snowflakes. They're so pretty. So very delicate, but I love, love the sprig. All right, and the sprig easily gets glued with the liquid glue. And you don't need a lot, just little dots here and there. If you put too much on, when you press down on it, it will smush out all over the edges. If you don't believe me, ask my friend Maureen. The first year we did a, a stamping card class, she learned the hard way. You just need a little bit of this. if you can actually see that properly. There. Yeah. Oh, this is 
so pretty. Alrighty then. Now we've got oh, it shimmers in the light. There's a hair on it. Okay, this one will also use liquid glue on and that will go uh, right here. And then this next. I need I need dimensionals. Luckily everything is within reach. The second one I popped up using Stampin' Dimensionals and I put two on there because I like stability. And that will go. I want it down a little bit. So it covers up a little bit of the swirl, but that's okay. Oh, pretty. Right. Then I've used the copper trim that is found in our annual catalog. Okay. I had taken everything out. There it was. It was hiding. All right. So copper trim. Going to make a little bow. And I want to show you something cool with this. This trim is really neat. So you can leave it like this. It makes a nice bow like that. It's pretty. But one thing that's really cool with this is that you can fray it. And, and when you fray it, it looks like, almost like netting. So you just have to um, basically pull it apart from itself. Oh, that is so cool. It, it, it feels, I don't, can you even see my hands? I watch videos and these people have these lovely nails and they're so pretty and my nails are so disgusting. I apologize for my nails. Look how neat that is. So you can either keep it the way it is all together, or you can fray it like this and kind of get a really interesting bow on there. That's cool. All right. Glue dot now. That's what I, how, that's how I put glue dots on things. I take the roll off, I put the thing I want to glue, glue dot, and then I glue it down. That is so cute. And there is our finished card. And this is pretty simple. Um, I also, I'll show you an alternate card. I'll flip you back up. Because, there you go. All right, so that was the card we made. And here's another card that I did, again, using the... Um, copper, the copper Delicata ink and copper foil. And that sentiment comes from the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set, which is also a sneak peek. Um, so here's the two cards side by side in this color palette. Now one of these cards I'm going to be teaching at my 20 card class. I just haven't decided which card yet. Um, so maybe you can let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Do you like the one with the gold ribbon on it? Or do you like the one with the gold circle in the back? You let me know. All right, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, as always, please hit the subscribe button, share the videos with your friends, hit like, um, leave a comment, I love to read them. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.